level of play. Well, I say that, but then there's a I was gonna say, They're probably used to playing <laughs> against Oh, there's them. the vault, though. There we go. Kasing's gonna get ignited, though, as he relentlessly retreats. Ziv takes a big win on that trade. <laughs> but Kasing wins uh, in style points. Tough the minions, though, so it wasn't a total loss for Kasing, but he's gonna be not quite zoned off. He gets the heal, but he gets vaulted, dodges the blind, and he's able to trade back another shot. Arts plays going, doesn't get the double tap. He dashes forward, now he gets the double tap. One more shot. And that will mean Ziv goes back for the health. Still Kasing on the lower end of it. Setting, but I mean, he, he's normally supportive. He could have built that. Oh, blinded. Oh, there's the vault. Ziv trying to bait him under tower. Not quite enough. And he does actually trade very effectively as a blind. Uh, just within range, he was still able to make the shot. Items come out of pickaxe rather than long swords. Ziv's going for the gold here, but it's Kasing that goes and dashes it. Double exhaust is down. There's the vault up, forcing the barrier. Ziv is low, and that's it. Kasing finishes it off in five minutes. All on the side steps from Kasing. Just touches the damage. <laughs> he can't believe he even won. Look at that look on Kasing's face. He's so happy to win this. He's like, wow, I won? Yeah. Hits keep on coming for Ziv, though, but he's all smiles as he shakes Kasing's hand. And that was an abrupt end to it. Looked like it definitely could have gone a little while. I mean, Doublelift is just going to go ahead and start off with the piercing light. Makes it rain really quickly, though. Doublelift actually does not trade really any better than even right there. No, double if, but he does have uh, grasp of the end. I will just trade it back. Look Here's at this damage. Line. There we go. There's the, the double tap. The double lift is just spamming out onto uh, onto the minion wave. Every time he steps up, he's taking more damage. This Ooh. game could be over so quickly. Pyl, that's a lot of damage, and he's gonna have to start chugging those potions. But double if knows he's got him on the ropes. Yeah, and punish Pyl for his early mistakes. And I like it. Doublelift doesn't instantly go for the health relic. PYL's dropping low. Very low. Pops the barrier. Doublelift's going to go back. He knows the summoner spell is burned, but he doesn't want to get Here we go. in trouble. Exhaust is down. One more shot. The Poros go flying. And Liftlift comes up with the win. Honestly, I think as soon as PYL popped his barrier and Doublelift turned to walk away, PYL knew it was over. Doublelift knew it was his game. You know, it's all about building those slow little advantages. It's not taking early deaths. Reckless. Big shot there, though. Crossley and Dying will give him a little bit back. However, score is on the offensive. So. He's taken so far. I was uh, glad it wasn't like uh, Underlords at this point. Oh, Reckless, oh, he's... He's... Double tap gets the exhaust. Double exhaust is down. They are starting this one early. Ignite for score. He wants to finish this up. Can this he do The stun! The outplay! The Poros go flying! And Reckless picks one up for Team Ice. And that's the thing, is if you're on top of Cannon and he gets the stun off, easily like that. That is when Cannon is very, very good in these matchups. And score plays right into his hands. Goes right into melee range against Cannon. The stun lands, easy follow-up damage. Goodbye, score from this bracket. He's such a significant factor for a lot of these uh, AD characters. Oh, there we go. Lands just land the combo, but unfortunately it's just in time. Ooh, that no, is a little it. bit more. Oh, Another good. shot, actually. That's the combo he's looking for. And now he can continue to zone. However, don't get too close. Careful, uh -oh. careful. The explosive charge hurts more than you think. Kind of edge over to that side of the bush. Means he can just drop the wood, but Baby does get the first auto. Jumping, second he's auto. Jump in. He wants to go all for it. Now exhaust is down. Baby's jumping. He's looking for it. Barrier is popped. He steals away the health pack. Ooh, and he takes a turret, turret shot, shot stray, though. This is getting dangerous for the Dragon Trainer. Oh. And Koro's healing up. Forgot all about that one. Oh, he got it! He's going to be able to land it. Scum eliminated, and Koro takes the win. Oh, the tower shot, so painful. So painful to take that tower shot. And it means Koro takes the win. Team Ice get another win here. Reckless got the last one. Time. An AD carry is lost. Tell us here. Oh, oh, it's coming. Oh, oh he's done. Oh, he's First no shot from Baker, up, and oh, he's going to get it right off it back. back. And gets minion damage. This is a true mirror right and now. And gets minion damage from that. So uh, Froggen will be pretty happy with that. It's like, oh, it's so many Qs landing. It's great. I want to see, like... Missing. Oh, wait a minute. There's a lot of auto attack trading here. There's the ice shard. Froggen does... So he does get grasped and dying. He gets a little bit back. Okay. Baker rocks the same thing. But he's also taken a bite out of his well not biscuit potion and the ice shard that ice ball did not manage to get the stun off but he did get a little bit more damage faker still trading back and forth a little better so right now faker has three points he got in the his stun team. oh froggen dodges he trades well on that one at this point froggen is just keeping the push going he's a oh but CSD faker up. goes in on this one and he forced the a flash. flash wow yeah huh Territory marked. Oh, and goes in. Has and he's got oh. maybe get an egg out of this one. But can he scramble him up for breakfast? I don't think he's got the damage. But this is all Faker needs right now. All he has to do is be able to recall safely. 
And he's already got the egg, and if he can make the same kind of play happen again, he should be fine. Faker manages to sidestep, catches Krogan again! Stun, looking no for Draskin dying. That is a really low health Faker, but he keeps on going. Use just the mark. trying to push him back. Oh, he boy. gets it. True damage for the follow-up. Frogan's not Frogan gonna go for it. it. There's no. too much mana for no, the Faker. Frogan is not gonna yeah, go in on that. this is good. Nine is... times out of ten. Yeah, that is... Uh... Oh. Oh, did manage to get it, but can't There's quite follow up. Just on the minion, Faker's still Ooh. gonna go forward. But he's playing a dangerous game here. A little bit more, it's about eight at this point. Faker, however, has shown that if he gets a chance, he will go in, but it's Froggen who jumps Ooh. in this time. The stun's on Faker, a good trade for Froggen. Grasp of the Undying heals them both up a bit, but he throws on his own ultimate. Faker's about to get egged, but not quite, as he wings it over to the health and waits just a second. Please. Honestly, that is normally oh, the way th There's the ice. That's what I'm talking about. The wall right there makes Faker take a little bit more damage on the back half of that. Oh, but in the early game, it wasn't really going to offer too much. Oh, he, they're going to go. trade it away now. And more Faker's taking it worse, though. Turns his own ulti off as the ice walls are melting, but an auto attack will heal him up. Just uh, Whose snowstorm is going to be able to deal more damage? Than Clearly, no one's going to die. Oh, which just point? Faker's will. Oh, oh, Faker's going, going in. in. He takes a lot of damage, though. And he's gonna try to turn for the help, but Frog is gonna flash. Egg Faker is gonna maybe get egged. Not quite, not today. But Froggen is just on the offensive, and he can keep pushing forward. Once again, builds up the CS lead. The flashes have been burned, and now it's gonna be if Faker can just go in, get a little extra damage, he may be able to turn it around, but the egg's back up. The wall's gonna stop him. Auto won't be enough, but it's still 90 CS to 81. He's gotta go in. Come on, Froggen. No, no he's no, a no, level no. up. It the catalyst. It's, it's not even that. It's not worth for him to go into the turret because even though they he has the egg, egg, he'd only trade egg for egg and then the turret would aggro. So he cannot go aggressive. Faker stunned. wants to go. Oh, There's the egg on Frog and Faker uses this to recall. He's got to do it. Well, he can take some time to start farming up a little bit as the egg comes back up. But yes, he's going to be in so much trouble because Froggen has got only 10 minutes to go. Frog is going to start trying to chase, though. The Snowball went out, but it was on Faker's, and he just gets trolled a little bit by the ice wall. Uh, no, Faker, you can't recall here. There's a minion wave coming. Faker just loses the game. It's Faker four literally CS. just That's lost the game on that recall. Easy this is peasy. It. He's going to watch it from the fountain. GG, the Anivia King is still the king. Even without Wraith Camps, Froggen still farms his way to victory. It was only 100 he needed this time. Oh, that recall. The end. I mean, Faker had no option at that point. Yeah, that was this. This done. we talked earlier about, you know, how some of these could be more like a game of chess than uh, a game of chicken. But you assume that you're going to be able to control your own push. So uh -oh. actually, use it on the enemy push. As he got his level two, got that flip up into the minions, but stand aside, says Afro, as the ignite is burning his health bar down. Afro's going to get a little bit more back for himself. Thanks to that grasp of the undying. There's the passive. This is not looking good for him early. Pretty he's forced different. under tower too. If he wants to check too close, I mean, I mean he's got a bit of AOE damage. He I can mean, clear a bit. Under tower is actually not too bad for him. Oh, he wants flippy, to go flippy, in. Flippy, flippy, exhaust. Oh, he's is got down. a tower he shot. Get a tower shot. This might make all the difference in the world as Afro moves, speeding himself away, but maybe not. Ignite's taking grasp oh. of the undying, and Afro move does it in style. Oh, I like what. Amazing was going for there. I like it. Got the tower shot. One more tower shot if he'd have been able to fling him just a little yeah. bit closer. Would have actually likely been the win there. But continues the damage down onto that front row of minions. Yeah. All he's starting to chase a little bit. He actually does trade decently with the auto attacks, but Dimash is always going to be able to do a little bit better than that. Dashes forward. Relentless pursuit of level two. Wastes a lot of mana if that keeps happening. Double tap, dashes Double. over. He knows he's got the time to do it. However, the minion aggro is starting to get a little strong for Damajka. Doesn't trade effectively there. And now if Damajka can go forward, he's going to look for it. Ollie, no, he's able to secure it. And he gets Damajka dark bound for his trouble too. Uh, you are limited to two Doran's items. Look at this trade from Damajka. Yeah. Right around the back of the minion. Dodges everything. He keeps going. He wants to try and end this right now. Relentless Pursuit, the double tap. Not enough damage. If he had the calling, he might have pulled it off. 18 CS differential. He takes the Dark Binding. Doesn't even use the cleanse. That's how confident he is that he is completely safe. Yeah. Game plan going here beyond trying to continuously farm this one out. Pulling comes out. Dimashka takes a lot of damage. The soul shackles are on, but he relentlessly retreats. Yeah, literally just one E gets him away from that. Really hasn't been too much of a problem for him. All he's got a little bit of a health advantage now. He's just going to try to force him off with a few autos, but they just don't do enough. Dark Ooh, Mining is going to hit. Might... No cleanse still. All he's going in. Exhaust is on. He's going to go ahead and cleanse the chains. Yeah, there's the double summoners. We'll. Uh... 
completely reduce what Ollie was trying to do there. But uh, that was a good amount of damage. Oh, Finding Tabashka is so low, but Ollie can't go in. Oh, the Tormented Soil had already been used. Oh, that's so that painful. He'll take less damage, but Tabashka won't be looking for an all-in now. No, he doesn't need to anymore. He only needs 17 CS, but if he gets an opening, Save, he huh? might just do it. Goes on forward, he's standing in the soil. He doesn't care at all. All he takes a ton of damage off the back of the calling. Is it now because what happens next is Ollie flash ults onto Damashka and Damashka just focuses the minions. I don't think Ollie has enough damage without Ignite. Here's the go. flash Goes into the forward. ult. He's gonna manage to land the chains, however, but does he have any return fire damage? Torment soils down. Ollie's tanking minion damage as well. The Get Hex Drinker pops. Three. He just needs one, two, three. That's all it's gonna be, and the Poros pop. Another win for CIS. Impressive performance in the first round by the CIS team. They have put themselves three members for Team Ice through to the round of 16 just from the CIS region.